Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how I tie my new favorite sari tie. And actually, um, this is also how I've been tying the scarf that's called Try Something New. So I'm going to show you that also right afterwards. So first thing is I have a pashmina underneath and I'm going to use this tangerine. I want to show you something. This comes with a desert oasis kit. It's a bright sunny orange. It's beautiful. This tangerine is a little bit deeper. Here, can you see that? Okay, just wanted you to know that. Now, one question I've been getting is, how do you get the height? So the first thing is, you get to choose where you want to put your volumizer. You can put it in the back, like further back, even like a bonnet. Or you can put your volumizer up there. You could just kind of nudge it up. Just nudge it up. It really stays in place. Um, with, you know, just like that, to give yourself the beginning of more height. Okay. Now I'm going to take my pashmina, and if you want height, it's critical to use a pashmina because they just have a lot of bulk, and the bulk is what gives height. Okay, put it on, and here's a cool little trick. Watch how I'm going to tie. I am not going to do this. Sorry for the armpit. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm not going to do this because this is going to make me a low down kind of lame tie. No, that's not cool. I'm going to grab the two ends and I'm going to take my palms and lift. See how I lifted the whole thing? And some of you probably do this intuitively, but that is how you start with the lift. Now, I mentioned that to Andrea. She says, yes, yeah, she does the same thing for a different reason, though, to secure her scarf because it keeps it keeps all the energy forward so your head doesn't feel like it's falling back. So I feel really, really tight. And you see how nice that is already? Okay. Next, I'm going to put up the two ends. One, over. Again, these are bunchy. This is not smooth. I'm keeping it bunchy. When you keep your ends bunchy, you add about another inch right up there, by crisscross at the top, and then tie it in the back. Now, I am a very messy tickle tire in the back. I only care a very little bit about how it looks in the back, just because I, it just never looks neat. That's how it goes. Okay, for this particular tie, I'm not going to leave this. Usually I do. So I'm going to take this and put it up. There you go. And it's just tucked in the back. Everyone could see. Ooh, everyone could see my fringe. Okay, there you go. Now here comes the fun part. I take the sari. And... Saris, as you know, do not cover your whole head, and we are having them made now, custom made. We're experimenting, and we are going to get ones that cover your whole head as per your request, so that's going to be very cool. So I'm going to just put it on as a headband. I don't need to worry about the back. But here's the thing. When you look at it, I want you to notice it looks kind of like a mountain. If you put it on like a headband like this, you will not get the height you're looking for. You need to spread it out so that it's kind of leaning backwards on the bulk of your pashmina, okay? This end should be around a foot long. Pretty much just a little bit longer than you really want it to hang down. And here's what I do. Tie it. And then I'm gonna bring this one end over, spreading it out how I like it. Put one finger in there, it's helpful. And there you go. Tie it and twist it around and loop it through. Now, if you would just tie your tickle and just let the two sides hang, that would be very dowdy and boring. What makes this more interesting is that it's more like sassy ponytails than it is long hair that's weighing you down. And that's because both of the ends are coming from knots. They're coming from higher up, so you get the sassy ponytail look. Okay. Um, and here, uh, another thing I want to mention to you. If you're a girl who likes a lot of texture and dynamic motion, you also probably like things asymmetrical. It just looks better on your face. I didn't make up this information myself. So I like to put a pin right here for some asymmetry. And this should maybe have a, mm, a purple pin. I don't know. I find that the painted flower pins that I'm using now look how stunning. They go in better backwards. They sit nicer on the scarf if you put them in backwards. Maybe to them, that's forwards. Okay. Now, that's not where it goes either. Let's leave the pin for now so I don't have to put you through the torture of me figuring out my pin. It should be right there. Um, I like it. I hope you do.